I'm the executive director here at MCPA. My name is Heather Klo. Welcome to our 2020 Fifth Third Wall of Fame induction ceremony. The Fifth Third Wall of Fame was created to honor arts professionals with ties to Hancock County who have made a significant contribution to their discipline, either locally, regionally, or nationally. The wall is sponsored by Fifth Third, and we thank them for their generosity. We are joined by two representatives from the bank, and I'm going to invite them up now. We have Jeff Heyer and Mary Beth Hammond. Thank you, Heather. Uh, David Hansen was born in 1945. He received his Bachelor of Music from Bowling Green State University in 1968, his Master's from the University of Michigan in 1972, and he studied at the Brevard Music Center and Aspen School of Music. Mr. Hansen was the director of the orchestra program for the Finley City Schools. He directed the high school symphony, orchestra, chamber orchestra, and the musical orchestra. He taught grades four through 12 for 35 years before retiring in 2003. He also served in the faculty of Heidelberg University, Bluffton University, the University of Finley, as well as BG BGSU where he worked with numerous students for over 41 years. David directed the high school symphony at several clinics, conferences, festivals, and universities, including performances in Pittsburgh, Chicago, Columbus, Cleveland, and other cities. In addition to directing and teaching, Mr. Hansen wrote teaching articles and was published 11 times. He wrote 28 musical compositions, and two of those were published. David also performed professionally with the Toledo Symphony, Lima Symphony, the Finley String Quartet, and he chose to perform from his collection of 45 string instruments. Mr. Hansen held leadership positions in several music associations and continues to be a member of many fraternal organizations. Here are just a few of the awards during his career. Finley J.C.'s Outstanding Young Educator Award. Midwest International Band and Orchestra Clinic Director's Medal of Honor. Ohio String Teachers Association Teacher of the Year. Finley Rotary Golden Apple Award. Finley City Schools C. Robert Baker Award. And in 2019, he became a member of the President's Club at Bowling Green State University. In addition to his many music activities, David is active in Finley Rotary wildlife surveys for the Department of Natural Resources. He enjoys botany, etymology, gemology, world history. And when he's not busy with all that, you can find him with photography, biking, swimming, hiking, traveling, and golf. <laughs> and he lives in Philly with his wife, 38 years old. Congratulations. Mary Beth Hammond. And I'm honored to share a few comments from the friends that you chose to come and join you today for this. So it certainly has been a different year for us. We would have celebrated this back on the third day in May, but as we all know, that didn't happen. And instead of putting it off any further, we really just wanted to make sure that this recognition got in the books. And it's interesting, Jeff read from the bio that was um, presented with the nomination, and there are several of these comments that actually speak specifically to those comments in, in the bio, which I found really interesting. So your friend Linda shares, as a parent volunteer for Dave and the Finley High School Orchestra, I got to see a bit behind the scenes. I witnessed the mutual respect between Dave and his students. He cares about each and every one of them. The definition of great teachers is warm, accessible, enthusiastic, and caring. And Dave is all of those things and so much more. Dave instilled a deep love of music in my children that still thrives today. <laughs> On a trip with the chamber orchestra, one of the members said, I wonder if Mr. Hansen has any children. And another student immediately replied, he has 128 children, <laughs> meaning the entire Finley High School Orchestra. Your friends, Bonnie and Mark, go on to say that their daughter, Leah, was in sixth grade when her then orchestra teacher noticed a talent for the double bass, passed the age and experience, and contacted Dave to see if he would be interested 
in taking on a young student for private lessons. He graciously agreed to speak with Leah, even though she was far younger than the age of the students that he normally worked with. From the first meeting, they realized that Dave would be a gift to their daughter in setting expectations that excited her and always setting goals for her to reach while providing superior instructions. Though Dave's instruction, or through Dave's instruction and encouragement, Leah grew quickly in her skills, but when Dave was asked one time to play in the community orchestra, he was unavailable and he suggested Leah take his place. Dave also shared tickets to the Toledo Symphony, introducing her to her first professional orchestra concert. Although the work was difficult and challenging, he always brought fun to each mm -hmm. lesson. The music area in Dave and Lori's home apparently is filled with those 45 string instruments from all around the world, and Dave would allow Leah to select one of those instruments and then he would play it for her. Dave knew the history and the origin of every single one of those instruments, so this made the lesson even more exciting and fun. Dave would spend hours planning to help Leah prepare for regional, state, and eventually college auditions. The relationship that began as a young student has grown into adulthood. Each time that, that they visit with Dave and Lori, he continues to ask about Leah, how she's doing, what's going on in her life, and always encourages her to continue in her love of music. Mm -hmm. Leah has a deep respect and love for Dave. And their daughter Leah goes on to say, Mr. Hansen was my private teacher through middle school and high school. To say he was one of the biggest influences in my life is an understatement. He not only fanned the fame of my love for music, but also taught me so much more about what it is to be a successful, kind human being. And I think we can all just have so much hope that that really is going on, although we don't hear about it so much. As I got more accolades in my music, he kept reminding me that there is always more room to grow and never stop pushing yourself to be the best that you could be. I remember a specific private lesson in middle school where Mr. Hansen handed me the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and shared how influential it had been in his life. He was giving it to me because he wanted me to grow up and have an impact on others. I am so grateful he taught me about music and life. When I think about my teenage years, it will always be colored with Mr. Hansen jumping up and down, quote, to play with more vigor, him sharing with me all his various hobbies and the musical opportunities he gave me, the continuous encouragement throughout the years. I couldn't think of anyone more worthy to be on the wall of fame. I am so excited that he is being appreciated. And the, for those of you that may not know, these pictures are actually of Dave and Leah, and they weren't dated, so I don't know how long ago they were, but I'm sure that you do. And then lastly, his dear friend Roger Powell goes on to say, Dave and I were golfing buddies for several years and had a good time laughing and joking. He is a good friend and we keep in touch and he is very deserving of this award. So on behalf of Fifth Third Bank and the Marathon Center for Performing Arts, which houses the Wall of Fame, sincere congratulations to you from all of us. And I would invite you to come up now and say a few comments and then we will present you with your award. Well, thank you so much. It, uh, I'm, I feel humbled, uh, grateful, and, uh, well, sometimes uh, it's thinking about this, uh, uh, it's hard to put things in words because wonderful experiences um, becomes a lifetime memory and a very emotional moment. I want to thank uh, Heather and Mary Beth and Jeff for their their comments. I want to thank my friends for being here and your uh, wonderful comments. I want to thank my wonderful wife, Lori, for always being there supporting me through my whole career. I want to thank especially my 
dear friend Scott Lavender, who's sitting over there, but he's also <laughs> sitting over here. I just saw him a moment ago. There he is. Um, he's the one who nominated me for this. And, uh, well, if it wasn't for Scott, I wouldn't be standing here. So uh, I'm very grateful uh, to him and appreciate uh, his nominating me. My life experience in, in Finlay has been extraordinary. Uh, I mean, it really has. If people have asked me if I was to do my whole life over again, would I change anything? And, and I really wouldn't. I perhaps might have spent a little bit more time in the early years on violin than double bass, but um, <laughs> but otherwise, no, I, I, I wouldn't change anything. My senior year at Bowling Green State University, I, well, the university sent me to Finley to do my student teaching. There weren't that many schools that had orchestra programs. And uh, I knew about Finley from, you know, I had been to the town at that time many years ago. It was a town to me, but um, I grew up in Perrysburg, and that was a town too. But um, I knew about Finley. But I, when I came and student taught here, I had no idea. I had no idea what existed. It was an incredible music program. And uh, Clifford L. Height, who was senior, um, not to get him mixed up with his son, Cliff Height, uh, Jr. I don't think anyone calls him Jr. But Cliff Height, Sr. had uh, one of the finest high school bands in the country. And there's no question about that at all. And I came to realize that as the years went by, uh, the, the truth of that, at any rate, um, uh, Cliff Height uh, was the person who hired me when I was student teaching. I had his son, who was Cliff Jr., um, at Donnell um, Junior High School at the time, and then I had his uh, daughter Marty, who played violin in the high school orchestra. Anyhow, I had a wonderful student teaching experience. I loved it. And so it was all over, it's kind of sad. But uh, then I went back and to uh, finish school and had to prepare for a senior recital and so forth. And I ended up having to go to uh, the summer school that following summer because I'd taken so many extra music courses to get everything in. I had to do that. But I did sign a contract, teaching contract, with the Defiance of Schools to direct their orchestra program uh, in I think J July or early August, something like that. And they had put a nice big write up in the paper with a big photo of me and, you know. And uh, I, I had gotten back to my room. Um, again, this is, I don't know, middle of August somewhere. And phone rings and I answered it. He says, Hanson, this is Mr. Height. I want you down here tomorrow at the uh, Board of Education office at 3 o'clock. And, and of course, that, that, I mean, if you knew Cliff Height Sr., he, Hanson, I mean, it was Dave, or, you know, just, but uh, at any rate, I did as he t said, and I was down there, and they offered me a job here. And apparently, the string teacher was leaving, and then on top of that, the uh, superintendent, uh, Robert Baker, told, uh, told Cliff that he could hire a second string teacher. Anyhow, long story short, um, I was offered a contract. I said, well, I already signed a contract with the Defiance. And Cliff grabs the phone and clunks it over in front of me and picks the receiver up and puts it in my hand. And uh, Mr. Baker, the superintendent, looks up the phone number of the Defiance superintendent. And I'll tell you, it was the most difficult phone call I've ever, ever in my entire life. Um, he was very gracious, the superintendent. Um, here they, you know, I had committed. But anyhow, he let me go so I could come to Finley. And, and of course, I was thrilled and excited and everything. So it, that was the beginning in the fall of 68 of uh, a, a wonderful 35 years. And I came at a perfect time when 
there was, um, oh, things were going well financially. We had extra money for instruments and things and music. And, uh, and then uh, the, the faculty, uh, I'm, it was just amazing in and, and, and mm -hmm. all the departments. So it, it was an incredible, amazing, wonderful career. And um, going back to Scott Lavender, um, <laughs> Scott was, was a, a, a lot of fun to be around. Oh, it still is, but I mean, as a, as a student, and he was incredibly <laughs> talented. And uh, he sang in a choir, played trombone, the band, of course, played piano. And uh, 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 he, uh, actually, I saw a write-up that he had uh, put together, and I th thought that was going to be presented here, but he, he mentions about how I uh, twisted his arm talked him into playing cello his sophomore year of high school. And uh, he went from last chair cello, uh, eight, I believe, there were in, in the office at that time, eight chair to first chair within a period of months. By, by, by the uh, end of the year, he was prince of cello. That gives you some idea. And then the next year, uh, he decided to work on the Camille Sassau's Sons, uh, uh, cello concerto, and he got part of the first movement of that learned. So, <laughs> and then when he graduated, he uh, I was single, and he uh, invited me to come up on weekends to uh, BG. And uh, when I was in school, I didn't have time for any fun. I just it was too much work. But uh, uh, Scott didn't need the time that I did when he went to school there. Uh, <laughs> And so I got to go to football games and campus movies and everything with him. And uh, I got that four years of going up and doing fun things that I missed. And then when Laurie went to school, I got to do it all over again. And I, I will make one quick uh, wonderful story of that. My second year of teaching, of trying to build the program, and decided to start some fourth grade string classes, which Finley had never had before. So I started two, one at Jefferson and one at um, uh, Whittier Elementary Schools. And uh, this was a uh, 69-70. And Lori was in that first fourth grade class at Whittier. <laughs> and she played violin, and she kept playing the violin. And uh, I got to know her parents in high school. They introduced me to skiing and took me in as a family member. Anyhow, I did wait till she was out of high school. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, anyhow, you know, I, I, I told my mother that I you know, might as well get used to it. I'm going to be single the rest of my life. Uh, but anyhow, so Lori happened and made my life so so wonderful. So, and, uh, um, well, some of the people here I just want to mention that Linda Saldana, back there, uh, the parent volunteers, how it started, but she stayed with me after her kids were long gone and uh, um, introduced things to me like a newsletter that uh, I wouldn't have had the patience to start doing, but she was insistent on that. That's just one of the many things that was so amazing. Um, Anita Shively and Tom Carey, we taught together, and I can't remember the years very well. That's kind of slipping my memory. Was it the 80s? Or? 1983 until Well, that, that was... 90. I mean, people have to leave for various reasons. Anita's husband got transferred to Houston, for example, and... So, I mean, people come and go, but we had a few years there, and I, I look back, and, and to me, it was always the dream team, because uh, it was, no, oh, it was just three of us together. It was, uh, uh, what, I mean, I, I had wonderful teachers to work with after that, but that was special with those, those people. But uh, nice to see Roger. And, Joan Powell here. And I've known Roger uh, through the Alumni Association and, and golfing. Uh, I 
Lori's dad got me into golfing, but then I kind of stopped doing it for a while, and Roger got me doing it again. And so we'd meet out in the golf course um, very often. And uh, thank you, Mark, the, uh, the um, Olsons for Mark and Bonnie, these pictures. Those are just lovely. Nice to see you here, Carolyn and Scott. I hope I caught everyone. <laughs> Any questions? <clears throat> I am grateful, very grateful, and I, I don't take things like this lightly. It, it means I, I appreciate them very much, and it's a wonderful way to end my, uh, my uh, total teaching career, counting my college university teaching. It's 48 years. But it's a wonderful way to uh, to end it. So, thank you very much. I may have to look at it from time to time. Any time, always follow. And we have this oh. Finley glass wow. for you, and it's become our tradition wow. to share a piece of Finley glass. Beautiful. And Lori, we know you're allergic to flowers, so this is some Dietz's oh. that will oh boy be able to be shared in your beautiful home. Well, thank you. Congratulations oh, again. Golly. And Finley glass. I mean, I love glass. I love glass, but they have a piece of Finley glass. Uh -huh. That's Let's have one more round of applause.